And as we finish up there, we come out onto the track where Kelly Byers in a big opportunity for him in the 33 Kevin Harvick car that has already won once this year. I expect him to make the most of this opportunity, though. He's, you know, sitting on the sidelines watching these guys, and I know it's got to be killing him because he was making so much progress last year. And you know that's got to be in his mind. Hey, I'm in the car that Kevin Harvick's won in. This thing is fast. I got this incredible opportunity. I just don't screw it up. Take advantage of it because he was fast yesterday in practice. Got a good lap going here for the first lap. Uh, it's not going to be a pole run, but maybe the second lap he'll have something for him. Well, if he picks up any at all, he's going to get the pole, that's for sure. He was eighth quickest in practice and as he comes across uh, 29.5 it's good enough for the number two spot right now can he do better on the second lap it's just a tenth off the pole it looks like our tracker's going the wrong way off turn two i don't know if he got a little tight coming off two well it looks actually andy looks like he just didn't get to keep the car in the bottom of the racetrack on one and two it got high I don't know if it got loose or the car was tight, but it just couldn't hold the bottom of the track, that's for sure. Well, he likes this track. His career best finish of fifth was at this very event last year. And as he comes across this second lap at 29.8, so he actually slowed down a little bit, but he stays on the outside of row number one temporarily. So we're going to move over for just a moment. Scott dropped down to third on the pull um, on the qualifying effort. Did you guys get everything out of that car in that run? You know, we didn't. We uh, were a little bit too tight to go to go quick. Yesterday, we worked on race trim the whole entire practice and then uh, did a qualifying run at the end of it and were extremely loose. So uh, we were safe and tightened it up and we just over tightened it, um, slowed it down a little bit. But real proud of every guy, everyone on the Charter Chevrolet. Uh, all the guys have done a, a great job in, prepar in preparation of this car, you know, coming to the track and throughout the weekend. So. Uh, we've got a great race car. Just looking forward to the race today. Now you guys have been talking about a little extra nerves with Kelly getting in the 33 car. He looks pretty calm to me out here. Doc, you just mentioned the 33 car. Seven different drivers scheduled to be in that car this season. Next up, next week, Kelly Byers. But this week he's in the 91. Tell me how this deal came about. Uh, well, it just came about about a week ago. Uh, Phil Parsons called me up, and their uh, driver normally for MSRP Motorsports, uh, Terry Cooks, uh, got a conflict with the truck race being in Texas tonight. So uh, thought I'd help him out here and just have a little fun get back in the car. How much does this help you prepare for next week when you get into that 33 car in Kentucky? Well, any seat time's good. You know, at any level, any short track, whatever uh, car it is, you know, you can't beat seat time. And uh, so it's just uh, knocking the rust off a little bit and uh, get geared up, ready to go next weekend. Kelly Byers making a start in Kentucky next week. The last time he was in the car was here. He finished fourth. Andy? Yes, Shannon, and I'm with the driver of the 33 car this week, KO. 2008, Kelly Byers running on only an abbreviated schedule in 2009. His second start with KHI. Considering the obstacles you've faced over the last uh, 12 months or so, trying to make a name for yourself, prove yourself, how much of an opportunity do you look at this weekend as? Uh, it's huge. You know, these guys, uh, Ernie and, and all the guys at KHI really give me a, a good opportunity and a fast race car. And um, the Copart Chevrolet has been really quick today. We had a little bit of an oil leak there in first practice, so the car was good enough where we took the time to sit it out, fix oil leak, and uh, save our tires and go back out here in second practice. So very, very happy with the, the balance of the car, and uh, we're going to see what we got here. And Vince Kelly Byers trying to do exactly what he did earlier this spring at Nashville, and that's post a top five finish and prove just how good he is. Well, the 16 car hasn't had many problems. Up. So you see these guys all week long getting these noses as low as they possibly can. Here's Kelly Byers, and now he has moved to sixth on the speed charts. And you heard the interview earlier, uh, a great opportunity from Kevin and Delana Harvey to give Kelly Byers an opportunity. And he is one of those drivers eligible for a special uh, bonus this weekend. Kelly finishing fourth, uh, driving uh, for Kevin Harvick Incorporated at Nashville back in April. Tell you what, I talked to Kevin Whoa. yesterday. Ooh, got a little loose right there. You see that? Drivers are complaining about the track being real bumpy, and it looks like it hit a bump and turned the car loose. But going back to Kevin, I talked to him yesterday, and I, I tell you what, I'm just amazed how well organized Kevin's team is when it comes to the Nationwide Series. His cars are always fast, and he was he really has a lot of high hopes for Keller Byers driving this thing this week. He feels good about a win. Let's get more on the 33 car from Mike. Well, Doc, if you've sat out from a sport for quite some time, it's rather natural to be a little bit rusty, and that was the case, really, for Kelly Byers in his first stint with KHI. I spoke with crew chief Ernie Cope this morning about their run at Nashville earlier this week, uh, this year, I should say, and he told me that in that first practice, he wasn't sure how things were going to go. Kelly Byers, he said, was a little bit timid during that first practice, so much, in fact, he had a radio to him saying, hey, look, we're about a second off the field. The response from Byers was, yeah, I know, it's my 
fault. I'll make up for it. He did. He's done it. He's got off to a real good start here today, guys. Well, he, he's knocked the timidness off him. There's no doubt about that. He feels comfortable with this team. He's given really good feedback, and that's what it's going to take to get this thing handled. These guys got about 45 minutes left to go, Jerry, so they got to make it. They got to really tune in right now and get these cars running fast because this is the last practice. Here's a 12 car, Justin. Give. I mean, there's only so much money in the pot to be able to run these cars, and they got to run fast. So if we were getting wind tunnel time free, if we were getting seven post time free, now we got to pay for it. So that's taken away from the budget. So how do you make it up? You're going to have to go in now and cut salaries, and the employees hate that. But if you're going to be competitive and stay on the track, man, you just got to do it. And that's what's happened with General Motors pulling the support. All right, but the, these cars will still be on the racetrack each week. In fact, a lot of owners like Kevin and Lena Harvick have been planning ahead for something like this during the reorganization for General Motors. There is the 33 car on the racetrack, Kelly Byers, and behind him is the 99 car of Trevor Bain, and they have made adjustments, and Andy Petrie, they've been... Man, I'm telling you, that thing is loose, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is loose. Yeah, it just got real loose. Don't want it to there. I'm out good. So he will clock in uh, third out of the seven cars that have gone thus far. That's one of the negatives of not making that practice qualifying run or that qualifying attempt in practice because if you don't, you just don't know what you've got. And, uh, you know, they know they've got a good race car. And wherever they start, they start. But uh, you do give up a little bit in the qualifying run if you don't do that practice run. And, and you got you got to wonder if this momentum is up to speed yet. He leaves Michigan Speedway up there in that cup car, then leaves there and jumps into this. And it's got to feel so much different. Now, how different does this feel? Ooh, man, Ooh. back steering. See his left side tires right on that black portion of the racetrack where it's been patched. Oh, my. Got a problem right here. Kelly Byers has really torn this car up. Oh, wow. Well, I never expected that out of Byers. He's been solid all through practice yesterday. That is the Kevin Harvick Incorporated 33 to Kelly Byers. Totally my fault. They were just coming up to speed to come down and take the green flag, and here's what happened up in uh, turn four. He gets over those bumps, and you can see the car. He starts chasing it big time, and he ran out of room. Well, we talked about the bumps on the racetrack, and it is severe this year. I don't know if they've just had a bad winter or uh, different than others here, but, boy, it has really Sorry, messed yeah. up this track. He told me in the garage this morning that he said that in that final session he was really loose from the center of the corner off. And they were trying to adjust that, but they thought it would be good in the race as the night progressed. Obviously, way too loose there to go out and qualify. Tough break for the 24-year-old Kelly Byers, who many in the garage area thought might be the next candidate to be a first-time winner here tonight. Now he'll be a candidate possibly for a backup car. Back in a moment. 717 seconds. It is 12th overall. Kyle Busch rolling, and let's check in quickly where Kelly Byers is standing by with Vince. Well, the uh, KHI team is preparing the backup car for the 33 of Kelly Byers. Kelly, what happened uh, on that incident? Uh, just got loose. I mean, just trying to get everything out of it that I could coming to the green to make a good lap for us. Uh, disappointed in myself. These guys have worked really hard this weekend. This Copart team has been uh, been outstanding in practice, and uh, we had a good primary car coming into the race. and. Uh, I just, uh, just tried getting too much out of it, um, but we got another great uh, Copart Chevrolet here. Uh, we'll get her prepared and uh, go out there and put a show on. 33 is always a good car. I'd look for buyers to be moving toward the front come race time. I agree, Vince, and uh, we're talking about putting a show on. How about Kyle Busch? Joey Logano has got the best pit stall right by the line, very close to the line where these guys will be racing off to. You can see here, this good high shot. This is a great pit right here. Takes a while to get to this pit, but boy, when you start coming off here, you don't have to race very far because you can see Joey only has to roll just to this line right here to make it to the end of pit road. And that's where they'll score the cars as they come off. So the top qualifiers all spread out up and down pit road here tonight. Well, let's update the prospects uh, tonight for some of the uh, fresh young faces here in the series. Here's Mike Massar. And one of those young drivers will have to overcome quite a bit of adversity. I'm talking about Kelly Byers. A problem in qualifying. He gets loose, slaps the wall, will have to go to the back of the field in a backup car. I spoke with Kelly Byers just after the driver's meeting. He told me he'll approach this race in a very conservative manner, feeling out the race car. He wants to see exactly what he has. They may also have to gamble coming down for two tires early to get some of that track position back. 
still, he's awfully confident, and he knows this is an opportunity to prove just how good a race car driver he is. Jamie? Well, Mike, for the second... Between him, uh, before Kyle finally has settled out front, and you see extended his advantage to two and three-tenths of a second. Now, the biggest mover in this race, we've touched on him a second ago, Kelly Byers in the Harvix 33 car. He's running 12th. That's where we start getting up to speed with Nationwide Insurance. Jamie, how about that story? How about that run, Alan? Kelly Byers started 42nd. He told me before he got in the car he was going to keep his fingers crossed that he had somewhat of a Tony Stewart story from last weekend, that he goes to the back in a backup car and he ends up winning the race. Well, so far, he looks like he has a car capable of winning. Already moved up to the 12th position, and so far, so good. Last stop, four tires and fuel, Vince. Behind him is the 16. About Kelly Byers now, fourth position after starting on the in the rear with that backup car. Whoa. Look at Brendan well, gone. Just dart right to the bottom of the track. It doesn't take him long to get two or three wide. Now, gone has got a good car tonight, eh? but he's been running that extremely high line up off of turn two. I've been watching him throughout the, the night. Bottom. That car has really been handling great, just like you said, Andy. But this 33 is handling great also. Come from the back where Kelly is right now, that Harvick car is very strong. Great side-by-side -side battle, these two, for fourth position. Well, here comes some more three wide, four wide racing. Oh, Stephen Wallace sliding up in the middle of the racetrack, and they gave him some room. Justin Allgaier backing out to give him a little room. There comes Bernie Lamar in the 32 car. These are ninth, 10th, and 11th spot. spot so he could be the lucky dog uh, free pass winner should the caution come out good Mark, point Andy good Mark point green is the next car behind him he's got to keep behind him to stay in that spot there comes Logano making a charge to the front and I will tell you this is the fastest laps I've seen all night long uh, it, like we said the tracks get much faster it's pitch black out here Cal Bush just ran a 31.16 that's the fastest since the start of this race Battle for fifth position here. And again, if you just joined our coverage, we'll mention again Kelly Byers wrecked in qualifying, had to go to a backup car, started 42nd in the Kevin Harvick Incorporated car, and has driven all the way to fifth spot, but right now just uh, under attack by Joey Logano, who's back in sixth. You know, guys, a long time ago when people used to lose their backup cars, they really felt like they threw out of the race. Now the backup cars are so identical to the main race car, it seems like these guys can just put the setup back in there and not be affected whatsoever. And you see that with Kelly Byers, how strong he's running. Even sometimes during a weekend, you can see some team have to go to a backup car and actually even get better. They might have been fighting something with their primary car that uh, when they went to their backup, it actually fixed it. Now, have you ever heard anybody just wrecking the cars on purpose so they get that backup car out? I have, actually. Have you done that? I tried to. One time didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> they wrecked it. They oh, fixed it on me. <laughs> oh, baby, here comes Joey Logano on the bottom of the racetrack digging hard, and he will take the fifth spot away from Kelly Byers. And uh, Logano is back on the move toward the front. Jamie. He is, and you know what's fueling that, Doc? Dave Rogers has been commenting to Joey, I know you're mad, man, and that fires you up. And Joey goes, heck yeah. He got back there in some lap traffic, and he turned the fastest laps of the night. Same thing. Bar adjustment on their last stop, and this is the best this car has been all night, Jamie. You can't say enough about Kelly Byers. Seventh right now, started 42nd. Told me he thought he was going to need to shake that car down. It had not seen any laps on this racetrack before the race. He did not need to do that. The car has been that good. And he said, hey, I love this track, too. It suits my style. I love sliding around. The car's treating him well right now. Happy with it, Vince. Trevor Bay.